China has taken another major step in unmanned aviation with the successful first flight of the Tianma 1000 unmanned transport aircraft. On January 11th, China North Industries Group Corporation Limited, better known as Norinco, announced that the aircraft had completed its maiden flight test, meeting all primary performance benchmarks. Developed entirely within the Aviation Industry Corporation of China's industrial system, the test was described by engineers as a complete success and a critical milestone toward the operational deployment of large autonomous cargo aircraft. The Tianma 1000 is being presented as a new generation intelligent aerial cargo platform designed to fill the gap between small logistics drones and traditional manned transport aircraft. Unlike lightweight delivery drones with limited range and payload, or large crewed cargo planes that require prepared airfields and significant support infrastructure, this platform is built to operate independently over long distances while carrying meaningful cargo loads. With a service ceiling of up to 8,000 meters, a maximum range of around 1,800 kilometers, and a payload capacity of up to one ton, the Tianma 1000 is aimed squarely at time-critical logistics missions across vast and often challenging terrain. Flight test data revealed another important capability. The aircraft requires less than 200 meters for both takeoff and landing. This short takeoff and landing performance allows it to operate from rough, unimproved runways, temporary field strips, and remote rural locations. In practical terms, this dramatically expands where the aircraft can be used, especially in disaster-affected regions where conventional airports may be damaged or completely unavailable. It also opens the door to operations in mountainous areas and sparsely developed regions where logistics have traditionally been slow, risky, or heavily dependent on ground transport. The twin-engine configuration of the Tianma 1000 reflects a deliberate balance between endurance, safety, and redundancy. By using two engines, designers aimed to increase reliability during long-distance flights, particularly on inter-provincial logistics routes or missions that cross difficult terrain. In emergency scenarios, Norinco says the aircraft is capable of delivering ton-level supplies within half a day. Compared to road or rail transport in areas with damaged infrastructure, this could dramatically shorten disaster relief response times and improve survival outcomes during earthquakes, floods, or severe weather events. Aerodynamically, the aircraft has been optimized for efficiency and stability while maintaining its short takeoff and landing performance. This combination allows it to operate in environments where conventional cargo aircraft would face serious risks or simply be unable to deploy. From isolated villages to temporary disaster response hubs, the Tianma 1000 is designed to bring airlift capability directly to the point of need rather than relying on centralized logistics nodes. One of the most significant aspects of the Tianma 1000 is its autonomy architecture. The aircraft integrates an optical guidance and landing assistance system with an advanced intelligent flight control suite. This allows it to conduct high-precision autonomous landings even in low visibility conditions such as fog, snow, or heavy rain. According to program documentation, the system is designed for stable and repeatable all-weather operations, a requirement that is becoming increasingly important for both civilian emergency response and military logistics planning. The onboard cargo handling system further highlights the aircraft's high level of automation. Built around a regional control and hierarchical management architecture combined with artificial intelligence, the Tianma 1000 can autonomously execute the entire mission cycle. This includes route planning, cargo loading, in-flight execution, landing, and unloading, all with minimal human intervention. Its intelligent loading and unloading system is reportedly capable of handling multiple tons of cargo within five minutes, a feature that significantly reduces turnaround time and manpower requirements in the field. In addition to this, the aircraft is equipped with autonomous obstacle avoidance and dynamic route optimization. 
These capabilities allow it to safely navigate unfamiliar airspace, avoid hazards, and adapt to changing weather conditions in real time. For operators, this translates to lower operating costs, reduced risk to personnel, and the ability to sustain logistics operations even in complex or degraded environments. Modularity is another central design philosophy behind the TNMA 1000. By rapidly swapping mission bays, the platform can transition from routine logistics to emergency material delivery without any structural modification. Norinco has also confirmed that additional mission modules are under development. These include cluster delivery systems for distributing supplies across multiple locations, communication relay payloads to support emergency networks, and reconnaissance and monitoring suites. This modular approach positions the Tianma 1000 as a true multi-role unmanned platform capable of supporting civilian logistics, disaster relief, and specialized transport missions with minimal reconfiguration time. From a strategic standpoint, the successful first flight of the Tianma 1000 highlights China's accelerating investment in unmanned logistics as both an economic tool and a national defense enabler. While official messaging emphasizes civilian logistics and emergency response, the aircraft's performance characteristics align closely with modern military sustainment requirements. In contested or infrastructure-limited environments, ton-class autonomous airlifters are increasingly viewed as essential assets, particularly in scenarios where manned aircraft face higher risks or access constraints. The program also reflects broader trends within China's aviation and defense industries. State-backed conglomerates like AVIC and Norinco are leveraging advances in artificial intelligence, autonomous flight control, and modular design to shorten development timelines and rapidly field new capabilities. By aligning the Tianma 1000 with China's national low-altitude economic development strategy, the developers are positioning it not only as a commercial logistics enabler, but also as a strategic platform supporting smart logistics networks, emergency governance systems, and future defense logistics architectures. As unmanned systems continue to move from experimental concepts to operational assets, platforms like the Tianma 1000 offer a glimpse into how logistics, disaster response, and even military sustainment could evolve in the coming years. The successful maiden flight marks just the beginning, but it clearly signals China's intent to play a leading role in the emerging field of large autonomous cargo aircraft. For more in-depth analysis of advanced military technology and global defense developments, stay connected with Mighty Military.